guys welcome back in this video we're going to continue working on that text document that we imported we're going to actually clean it up in this video we're going to learn some of the code uh, as well as some of the reasons why you what of what we mean by cleaning so there's a few things you want to clean out of your text so let's go back and start with our text document here so if you recall we imported and you, you you'll import your own we didn't give it a name. Let's call it text. Okay. So text is this one document that we were looking at earlier imported into R. Okay. <clears throat> and so now we're going to embark on cleaning it up before we can kind of uh, pick out any any interesting nuggets. Okay. <clears throat> so. Uh, first thing I might want to do is to remove punctuation uh, and uh, things like characters like this that don't really um, contribute anything and are a bit noisy. Okay. So to do this, we're actually this series of steps. We're going to actually use a function called G sub, and we're going to see how this works. Okay. So G sub takes a pattern in what's called uh, and actually, there's a couple choices here, but what we're going to use is regex. <clears throat> so in quotes, I'm going to put the pattern, and forward slash, forward slash, W will actually work, look for spaces and punctuation. And when it finds it, I have to tell it what I want to replace it with. Well, spaces, well, well, I want them to be replaced by empty spaces. Spaces are good for me. Uh, so if it finds a space, it's going to replace it with a space. So that's basically nothing's going to happen there. But punctuation, this is one way to remove that. Okay. So let's then tell it where I want it to apply this, and it's going to be applied to text. This guy. Okay. So let's see what happened here. Let's just check how this works. Let's see the difference between this guy and this guy. So you see, we lost this colon here. We lost this dash, <clears throat> this apostrophe, exclamation, and so forth. Okay, so you see it's removed the punctuation here. Okay, that's great. Uh, maybe we'd want to save this because this is not the only thing we're going to do. We'll save this. You can call this like text too, so that you don't override your original text. Uh, just in case you ever need to go back to it, we just re re need to remember that what we're going to do next is apply another transformation. Uh, so we remove punctuation. Now maybe we want to remove numbers. So things like this are not really useful to me. Okay, so I want to clean those out. Okay, so I'm going to again use the g sub function. Okay, so G sub and the pattern. This time, if I'm looking for numbers, again in quotes, I put forward, forward, D, lowercase d. And what this will do is it'll find digits 0 to 9. Okay, and when I find them, I want it to replace with blank. Where do I want it to look? Not in text, but in text 2. Right, because I want it to build on the previous transformation we did. So let's see what the results would be. So here we've gotten rid of the zero and the one. Uh, we could scroll to the right to see what else is going on here. Um, doesn't seem like there were any more numbers, or maybe there was. We just have to. But we saw an example of it working earlier on. Okay, so it worked. I mean, there wasn't any other numbers. It seems to get rid of. Okay, so that let's call this text two. You could call you keep calling these like uh, three. You could increment like that, but uh, you know the more you things you name, the more you got to keep track of. Um, I, I'm okay with overriding the previous step. So again, text two looks like this. Okay, we've gotten rid of punctuation and we've gotten rid of digits. Next, what I want want to do is because most of these functions are going to be sensitive to uh, case sensitive. In other words, 
the word full spelled like this is different than the word full spelled like this is different than the word full spelled like this etc okay I don't want to treat those things differently for my purposes that's not interesting so I would like them all to be considered one word full so I'm gonna lowercase everything so there's a function it's very simple called to lower and if we apply it to text 2 we'll see the results in action so you see some of the some of the letters here that were capital and became lowercase okay that's great let's actually call this text 2 again so we're overriding so this would be like our third step our third transformation and uh, we have a couple more things I'd like to do for, uh, but for the next couple steps we're gonna actually need the help of an additional package and this is a great package whenever you want to deal with text in R you need to install this package in my opinion so install packages so and the package is called TM Uh, and you can guess what TM stands for text mining okay so install this package choose a mirror that's close to you and once you've installed it then you know you could pause and do that and then load the package and now you can use its functionality as you can see it's got a dependency depending on when you're looking at this video this could change slightly but overall the functionality stayed pretty consistent for the past few years that I've used this package okay uh, okay so we've loaded the package we need and now we're going to use some of its functions first thing we're going to do is we want to remove a certain type of word that is not interesting for example the word and the word that for example possibly uh, and the word the the word or these are words that don't won't really contribute to what I'm after um, so I want them to be removed in fact they're, they're collectively called stop words and since we've loaded this package we can actually take a glimpse of what these words look like <clears throat> and there's about like 170 of them and you can see these words these are words that won't be too much of an interest to me so I'm gonna remove them from my text so how do I do this well that since we let me clean this up a bit and let me get our text back up so we know what we were starting with since I have uh, already uh, kind of lowercase everything I don't have to worry about the word for example and and capital and being a uh, two separate things and as you saw in the stop words that I that we just looked at they were all lowercase so so I would definitely lowercase before I do this so let's let's use this remove words okay and we're going to remove from text two. and what words are we going to remove well actually here you can type in, in quotes a single word that you're interested in removing uh, or you can con combine a bunch of words into a, a vector like this or you can use uh, the stop words okay so if I do this we should see that those words like and disappear that uh, and if we scroll to the right if we see the word the uh, or and those kind of words have all disappear okay so let's save what we've done to text 2 <clears throat> uh, next thing I notice here is that I have the remainders of a lot of uh, apostrophe kind of terms here and these didn't fall uh, these kind of uh, survived the filtering that I've done in previous steps so what I could do is kind of get rid of all words that are of a certain length so like uh, just length one for example and so this could be useful I mean it's not ter uh, text mining is inherently messy uh, the more time you spend on cleaning the kind of the better and the more thought you spend on how you want to clean your specific document or, or documents the better off you're gonna be at the end with the results 
So it's not absolutely important to get rid of these single letters, and there's probably much more if I scroll to the right. But uh, it's a good exercise. So using G sub again, I'm going to specify the pattern. Now this may look a little complex, but uh, I'll explain it. So forward slash forward slash B says the word starts with, the string starts, or the substring starts with, and then if I type a letter like like A, I'm saying the string starts with A. So basically, uh, let me use let me use like C. So basically, so far, what I've from what we're looking at on the screen, it would find this word. It would find this name, and uh, although C may show up here, for example, it won't pick this up because I'm saying it starts with C. Okay. So I'm not interested in just the letter C. I'm interested in any any uh, letter from the alphabet. Okay, so capital or lowercase. Although I know I've I've lowercased everything, this will kind of work if you haven't done that yet. So if I do capital A to Z in these square brackets, and then I specify that it ends. like this okay so it's a it starts with a letter and ends with a letter and then I specify the length specifically using these squiggly brackets length one okay so if I didn't specify this it could pick up words of any length uh, that start with any letter and end in any letter that's not going to be useful but I want length one so in these squiggly brackets should do this and then I want to replace those with blank and I want to apply this to text 2 which is my latest version okay let's see what the results are so uh, here look the S's are gone if I scroll to the right um, I see the previous here there was a T here the T has gone okay so you see it's doing its job okay and so let me update text 2 to include this last transformation that I did this latest I should say because I think I want to do at least one more and this last one uh, maybe I want to as a final step clean up all the extra white space that I've created by doing all these previous transformations so there is in the TM package a strip white space okay and this one's simple to use so strip white space boom and we see that uh, all the white space was reduced to a single space. Okay, let's update text two to include this latest, and for us, it's going to be the last step. So text two. So what did we start with? Let's go to text, and what are we ended with after all that work? Although we don't get to see it all in one shot, uh, especially because I've increased the font size here, so you all can see this on your screen you can see what we started with and what we ended with in this text cleaning process okay now from here I can go in a few directions uh, and so I want to stop this video at this point and ask you to follow up on the, the, the next few videos where I'm gonna go in a couple different directions possibly with this text okay I might make a word cloud for one and I might do a little sentiment analysis uh, as, a, as a kind of a second direction we can take this okay so I hope this was helpful if you started this one without watching the, the previous video where I show you how to actually read the text in you might want to go back and watch that so be sure to comment share like and have a great day.